that is a frequency response chart that you see there. First of all, the circle thing up on the top is a polar pattern diagram. It tells you how that microphone hears. You've got a dotted line, and then you've got a uniquely dotted line, and then a solid line. And they're explaining here that the uniquely dotted line is the reading for 125 cycles per second. So real low frequencies will be picked up that way. Then the solid line has almost the same pickup pattern towards the back of the mic is a little bit different. And then the solid line was 1,000 cycles per second. And then the dotted line is 12,500 cycles per second. And that's showing you that the rear of that microphone actually hears those higher frequencies better than it hears the lower frequencies. But the entire pattern is basically based towards the front of the microphone. So if this is the microphone right here, like this, and this is directly on axis, which means I am directly at zero axis to the microphone. If I was to go like this, I would be 90 degrees off axis. If I was to go like this, I'd be 45 degrees off axis. What this is saying is this is a cardioid pattern that's going to pick up in the front of the mic like a heart and not pick up in the back, except for those high frequencies around 12,000. It's going to hear a little bit of them. So now you can see that the pickup characteristics of that microphone are outlined in that polar pattern as to how it hears. Now down below that, it's going to tell you what it hears. And this particular microphone is almost a perfect microphone. It's pretty hard to get a microphone to do that. If you look at it, it's got zero dB in the middle, correct? You see that line in the middle that's a, it's labeled as zero dB? That zero dB is reference to zero on the VU, which means so much volume. If I put a tone at zero on the VU meter into this microphone, we want to know, does it come out at that same volume level? The numbers on the bottom are indicating cycles per second. The lowest number is 20 cycles per second. And then it goes all the way up to 40,000 cycles per second, which is 20,000 cycles per second above our hearing range. Now, this microphone is telling us that what comes in is what comes out. That is a wonderful microphone.